Good morning, Bill Oxidine here. As you'll notice, I'm wearing my Expedition Unknown t-shirt because I'm so excited about our episode on Expedition Unknown where we actually built a scale model of a boat. I can't give it away too much, but it airs March 25th, 2020 at 8 p.m. Season finale of Expedition Unknown. It's a two-hour special. Now, today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to calibrate your radio to your Hobbywing Seeking ESC. It works with the V3 models as well as all the older models that I know of because I've been racing with Hobbywing Speed Controllers for many years. And uh, yeah, sometimes you just don't get everything you're supposed to get out of your ESC unless it's cal calibrated properly to the radio and the radio should be on the proper settings. But enough of the tutorial, let's get to business. Now first, whether you're running an analog or digital radio, I would like you to put the throttle trim to neutral. On our mini dom, it's analog and it's the thumb dial right here. You want to match the lines up. The center line up with the center indicator. On a digital radio, it'll be different. It'll be in the settings. Next, I want you to set, set the throttle EPA to 100%. 99, 100. Our mini dom radio does not come with an EPA setting, but a digital radio will always have an EPA setting. Okay, now this next step can be a little bit tricky to do by yourself with only two hands, <clears throat> but it's very possible, and I'll show you how I do it by myself. It can be easier to have someone else connect the battery while you hold the radio, but again, I'll show you how I do it by myself, and I've done it for many years this way. Okay, first, I'd like you to take your transmitter and turn it on. Make sure you got lights. You got power on. Okay, now, I'm going to show you guys a demonstration of a ESC that is not calibrated to the radio, a Hobbywing ESC. Now, you see the radio's on. I'm going to plug the battery in. See how you're getting that beep error code? Now we're going to unplug it. Okay. They won't always, it, it can be out, out of calibration and still not do that beeping. So don't always rely that that beeping will tell you that it's out of calibration. Okay. So now what I like to do as one person is I kind of set the plug up close to it's barely in there. So it's barely in there. Okay. Then with my radio on, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull full throttle. Pull throttle, full throttle and hold it. Then you're gonna, you're gonna plug the ESC in. Then let go. Now you're calibrated. Now I'm gonna go through the sequence again. Okay, my radio is on. I have my radio on with the battery unplugged with it unplugged I'm gonna pull full throttle okay when I plug it in I'm gonna hear two beeps the moment I hear those two beeps I'm gonna let go of the throttle to neutral and it'll go through a sequence and you'll be calibrated again radio on full throttle with the battery unplugged with the battery unplugged while you've got full, full throttle pulled we're gonna plug in the battery and we're gonna hear two beeps and as soon as we hear the two beeps we let go and I mean the minute you hear that second beep let go to full to, to neutral neutral perfect ready to go well now that you know how to calibrate your ESC to your radio, you'd be getting full throttle range, full throttle range, full power. Soon I'll do another segment where I'll tell you some advanced settings and some a few tricks to get a little more performance out of it. And I'll also show you how to program the ESC using the beeps where you don't need a program card. I did that for many years. I programmed these ESCs simply using beeps and that's really great to track or or at, at the pond, for, for the most part, we're all just going to be at the pond or at the lake running the boat. But 
once you memorize the beeps in the sequence, it's great. And if you just so happen to not have your program box with you, you can always look up in your phone, look online at the instruction manual, and it tells you the sequence of, of beeps that should be done. While I have you guys here, I'd like to touch on a couple things. There's a couple of strange Facebook groups that are just totally like, for some odd reason, against what we're doing. I don't know what it is, I don't know why, but they are putting some odd and strange messages out there. And I'd like you guys to know that try to avoid any groups that have any bashing going on or product bashing or like brand bias. They're generally not going to give you the true information of what's going on. We have a page called Passion for RC Boats where it's all positive, no one's getting bashed or discouraged or anything like that. And I like you to join along and you might want to disclude yourself from other groups that do all the bashing and stuff because it's just not good for the sport. We're here to, adv to advocate the sport, to grow model boating, and to provide great products and advice. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, I'd like you to remember, tune in to Expedition Unknown, March 25th, 2020 at 8 p.m., season finale on the Discovery Channel.